kids, welcome to the studio. I haven't seen you for a very long time because of this wretched COVID business, but I have a question for you. What is an inventor? Pardon? Pardon? Uh, yes, an inventor. Someone who makes things or has ideas, invents things. Yes. Well, one of the things about inventing things, the most important thing is that the thing you invent actually works. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I have to say the world's greatest inventor is God himself. There's no question about that. Well, I did wonder about this because I didn't like to tell him or really to tell you, but I've actually got holes in my head. I think you might have some in yours. Uh, one hole's bad enough, but when I started counting them up, there's quite a few. See if you can identify the number of holes in your head. Well, well let's not be too silly about it, Mr. Steele. Well, uh, I can see one here. There's one. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, 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 you could say that's three, but uh, three, four. Um, and then uh, uh, five, six. Uh, they're sort of sockets, really. And then what's the last one? You're right, it's a mouth. And I think God's invention of the mouth is one of his major wonders. The things it can do, you would not believe. Well, those mistakes, I don't think he really made bad mistakes at all. So we've got our ears, our nose, our eyes and our mouth. Now, uh, the trouble is, with all this invention on the face, with this wretched thing and with wretched COVID, see what happens. <laughs> We've got this. I put it over my eyes, I can't see anything. I put it over my ear, I can't hear anything. I put it over my nose, I can't smell anything. I put it over my mouth, I can't hear anything. And you can't hear anything. And the only thing you can do with it really is make a moustache out of it. It's a patient business. We'll get over this wretched, isn't it miserable? Well, one day that wretched COVID will go and we can all meet again. Won't that be wonderful? So, let's have a look at this marvellous mouth. The first thing it does, you can breathe through it. Now, I have to say there's a fair bit of help from the lungs as well. But breathing is very good fun and actually it's quite essential. So keep breathing through your mouth and your nose. Um, then, uh, what's the next thing? We can talk. I'm talking to you through my mouth. I can shout if it needs to be shouted. For example, if someone falls in the water, you can say, help, he's in the water. Or if you want to say night night to your little baby sister, you say night night in a whisper. You don't say night night, sleep well. There we go. So we can regulate the, the trumpet sounds we've got in our wonderful mouth. You can sing, you are the promised breath of spring. We can sing with our mouths. Great, what fun is that? We can whistle. Um, and we can also use our faces and our mouths to make expressions. The classic smile is oh, very sad. And the other very, very, very important thing with the mouth is the wonderful thing, you can eat in it as well. You put it straight down that black hole and it blooming marvellous, fantastic. Thank you God for a wonderful creation. Well, the thing about inventors, the worst thing I, 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 well, I find myself doing a lot when I buy things that have been invented, the last thing I do is look at the instructions. The instructions. The inventor has ideas, but he needs you to listen and listen carefully to the instructions. God's instruction manual about our mouths and other things on this planet is the Bible. He teaches us how we should use the gadgets he's given us. So that's very important. So we need to read our Bibles to know the instruction manual very well. Now, we can use our mouths, he says, and he wants us to use our mouths to praise him. He's our inventor. He wants to use our mouths to bless our friends, to sh say kind things. He wants us to express his love for them, as we should express our love for our neighbours, friends and family. He does not want us speaking lies. He wants us speaking truth through our mouths, and he wants us to encourage and help one another. 
So that's great, isn't that fantastic? What he does not want, and I shall say this only once, do not speak curses to your neighbour, your friends and your loved ones. What I mean by that? God wants us to bless them, to curse them. It is saying things like this. I hate you, comes through the mouth. I hate you, you're very ugly. How does that make people feel? You're stupid. Ha, ha, ha. You are worthless. Well, and I could use bad languages or speak evil. That is not what God gave us our mouths for. It's a precious gift from him. So I think like the good old psalmist who you read in the Bible, he said, may, dear Lord, my words from my mouth be pleasing to you. I'll say that again. May my words from my mouth be pleasing to you, O Lord. So Lord, uh, make us and make your mouths a great blessing. We can bless each other with this wonderful gift. Bless you all. See you soon.